So this guy, so I don't know if any of you guys have heard of a, a website called twitter.com. I use twitter.com for advertising my podcast. I talked earlier about how I have over 500 followers. Yeah, trying to become an influencer out here. Uh, we're growing the podcast, right? A little bit. And Twitter is a great website, but Twitter's also been in the news recently because I don't know if any of you live under a rock, but Twitter was recently acquired by Elon Musk. And there's a lot of layoffs going on right now. And it's super spicy. If you haven't been following the drama, you're, if you're not up to date on all the tea related to Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter, we've seen some back and forth between him and lead engineers. We've seen inside conversations from engineers get leaked. We've seen people get laid off across the board, him making people go into the office. Crazy, crazy, crazy times here with Twitter. So anyways, this individual decided that he would he would post about it on his LinkedIn, which fair. Let's see what we have to say. So we're so we feel for the people of Twitter. So this guy is uh, I've heard of that company. All right. I'll conquering king. Let me just get past that. All right, I feel for the people of Twitter. Layoffs are always hard, both for those laid off and those remaining. But when they're, result, when they're the result of a conquering king coming in, it's even harder. Conquering kings are rarely known for their compassion. Nice. So, and then they have this lovely picture of Elon Musk as a conquering king. So I, I feel a little bit weird about the people that fanboy super hard about Elon Musk. I have my, I mean, yeah, he's, he's very wealthy. He's, his businesses are very successful, but I, there's a saying in life, um, where you sit on, you know, somebody's cheering, uh, cause they are on third base or I don't know. Anyways, anyways, I, I have mixed feelings about Elon Musk and, who he is he's very controversial for sure but this obsession that people have with him and posting let me just zoom in on this bad boy i mean look at that i mean <laughs> why are you posting that on your linkedin man what <laughs> stay i don't understand People that, uh, there's a phrase that people use, um, people just, they're obsessed with Elon Musk, and I don't get the obsession with that. What is a conquering king? So, who is the conquering king? The conquering king, accord, according to L-I-G-O-N-I-E-R.org, is Jesus. Um... It's a maybe it's a biblical reference or maybe it's just a reference to medieval times. But these people, they truly do worship Elon Musk. I don't I don't get it. I I, I don't get it. I don't think that there's any individual person in the world that I could get that obsessed with. And that it's like it becomes like a major part of my social media presence on my professional platform also like what kind of message does that send to your employees like that is that what you aspire to like are you are you like a cutthroat per conquering king yourself is that what you aspire to that you know if you're going to be a conquering king then sometimes you're just going to have to lay people off and they're going to have to deal with it like i mean i i, I don't know i mean that guy's a, a cto at his company so it's obviously pretty high up there and i just don't understand why you would want to send that message out as somebody that's high up in your organization. I just, I don't understand that. Um, and I just, I don't understand it. So I'll, I'll give them a, I'll give them a five out of 10. Um, but no, again, no malice to these people, but I just don't understand the upset. Like I, I see that level of trolling. Um, in Twitter and on Reddit and like the people that like love the Teslas and have like S E or thanks Elon and all that crap on their, on their backs, license plates of their cars and stuff. But man, taking it to LinkedIn. I mean, 
uh, so LinkedIn is not Facebook. LinkedIn is not the back license plate of your car. <laughs> so, um, anyways, that's that's something else. Um, in the comments, uh, how much do you think that so Elon bought Twitter for like forty billion? So, how much do you think that Twitter is gonna be worth when it's all said and done for Elon? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not 40 billion, but is it gonna be bigger or less? The world will never know. Miscommunicating, I miscommunicating. I just made a pilot, then they threw me on the stations. Now I'm not complaining, now I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated, I cannot explain in lameness. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries, thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify, they put me on the stations.